Hey everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil 5. This will be 3 bar 2. So I've gone ahead and organized my storage already. Um, I would recommend having plenty of guns and plenty of ammo for this particular area. Um, even some proximity mines wouldn't hurt, to be honest. Uh, I've upgraded my gun to firepower 230. Uh, capacity of 20 and I've put two criticals on it uh, upgraded the capacity of the shotgun I don't think I did anything else Oh, the reload speed kind of helpful didn't really do anything to this except no I don't think we did anything at all um, so anyways carrying on with that there are two emblems in this area uh, this is mainly a combat uh, level also a couple of good places to get uh, trophies, but again, this will be in guides after the walkthrough. Um, for those curious, uh, later on we can pick up infinite ammo. Uh, now that's done by completing the game on any difficulty in under five hours, I think. Uh, so those game times are in the chapter select. Anyways, from here what you want to do is pull out your rifle and just shoot people off in the distance wow you can take a hit dude it's normally a dude over that way So you can take out majority of the first wave from this point. Okay, uh, if there's any more, then I'm sure we'll find them. Um, so there's a particular trophy for shooting someone in the head while they're in the air, I believe. Um, way harder to do than it sounds. So the best way to do it is to come all the way over here, in fact probably run here from the start of the episode. Again this will be in the guide. And then get to this gap and aim for the head when they're jumping over. So no one's coming right now. Just got a couple of barrels over here, nothing too exciting. Okay. Alright, and once we jump down here, this is the sort of arena that we want to stay in. Uh, for now I'm going to preserve my shotgun shells. I've got two chainsaw guys coming up and I really prefer to not have any uh, trouble with them. Yeah, let's use that. Okay. That into there, into there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, from here you want to get sure, Sheva to... Get on the raft and I'll turn the crank. Yeah, pretty much do that. Uh, just keep an eye on her because sometimes she follows you over. A uh, good way to do that is to bring up the map and see the little pink triangle. And it's staying put so that's fine. Uh, now getting on this raft we're going to be attacked by about four, maybe five crocodiles. It'll do a quick time event. You need to tap L2 and R2. So you can stand still this whole time. And then you dodge. I think there's about five of them. So that's 
three. Four. No, I'm not serious. Okay, so there's four. Um, I have played that a couple of times and there's been like an instant quick time event after that where you have to dodge a fifth one uh, in pretty quick succession to the fourth. But that it's happened once out of like five or six playthroughs. So, I mean, I don't know what the deal with that is. Anyways, you can come all the way back to Sheva. And over the bridge. Um, now there's a couple of lanterns in this area. They have a ruby and a sapphire in it. So just shoot. Grab the ruby. Grab the sapphire. Now through here there's um, snakes in the grass but there is like gold and stuff as well. So what we're going to do is go through the tents, pick up some goodies, and between the two tents at the back here there's an emblem. It's a uh, one out of two. There's a note here if anyone cares. Uh, there's a jewel beetle just on this barrel over here. And I believe there's an incendiary grenade somewhere around here. Not 100% sure where it's gone, but that's alright. A white egg. So, snakes drop eggs. She picked up the egg, which is fine. Alright, and before we go through this door, there's a treasure. Right there. Alright, so coming through here, you want to take out every enemy as they spawn. Otherwise, they're just going to give you a hard time. Now, of course, there are two archer dudes. There's one here. And one up the top here that you want to get rid of first. Sheba made pretty good work of that, so that's fine. Save your shotgun ammo. Um, there's a guy over here that throws grenades. So if you haven't got your fireworks trophy already, um, now would be the time to get it. wonder if I can... Nope, okay, he just exploded. That's fine. Uh, one thing I've never really brought up, if you shoot them in the leg, you can do an uppercut. If you get them from behind, you can do a neck break. Okay. okay, and as you can tell from the music stopping, there are no more enemies, so you want to come all the way up here. We'll give that grenade to Sheva. Always stay topped up. Okay, from here, this dude here, he'll just explode. A lot of crap if you shoot him. Then we have the archer up top here. Okay, and you just want to pull this lever. 
Um, once we get to this platform, there's going to be a chainsaw dude show up. Now, because we're an amateur, they don't come alive again. I'm not sure which difficulty makes them come alive again, but you have to fight them twice. It's, it's weird. Um, no doubt I'll be showing that through the veteran playthrough. Uh, anyways, just grab what you can. There's a proximity bomb. Grab that. Um, and you want to have your shotgun ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to blast him in the head once he comes over this way a bit more. Then we're going to jump down, plant a proximity bomb, and then just hoe on him from there. Now, if you shoot this particular one on the head with a shotgun, he should freeze, like, instantly. There we go. So he can get you. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Don't kill me. All right, and this is where we will be planting the proximity bomb. So hopefully he runs towards us that way. Oh, he missed it. Oh, he's probably going to kill us. Nope, he did not. Come on, dude. There we go. So it does a decent amount of damage. And of course, Sheva getting that second combo on him helps. And if you shoot him in the head, he does that animation where you can run up to him and hook him. Oh, you were getting way too close for comfort, buddy. Oh, okay. Don't kill her. There we go. That's the closest I've ever come to having she ever die. Uh, in this playthrough, anyways. Alright, and now he's dead, he will drop a... Venomous Serpent or something like that. It's a, it's a golden bracelet. Um, anywho, so we'll go back up to where we were before. As you can see, we only have 10 shotgun rounds, which is not going to be enough to kill this dude. This next dude, there's two of them, just for the record. Um, and I'm not 100% sure whether a shotgun to the head will stun him like it's done that one. Okay, jump on down and go back up. And we want to take this path. Now, this should be a grenade. It's not. My bad. Um, sometimes when I... Well, a lot of the time when I've done that in the past, that's a hand grenade. Um, and it always, every time I use it, it backfires. So... I am going to... So when we walk up to this door, we open the door by lifting that bar up and a chainsaw dude comes, so we have to run away and not pull any levers or anything like that. Um, proximity bomb's probably going to be my best bet here. I mean, this area can be really easy or it can be really... Uh, what would you call it? It can be really ammo consuming. So, go for the barrel there. May as well pick up the handgun, sure. Um, if you want, you can wait for Sheva to get down. She's just going to do her thing anyways. Alright, now I suggest just backing the hell up straight away. So what we're going to do is shoot him in the head, then run past him. Another. 
if he gets out of the way of the door. Not even going to hook him this time. All right, he should hit that. And he did. Oh, he's coming in for another round. Uppercut. Shoot the crap out of him. Alright, and another proximity bomb. Did he die? He did not die. Uppercut. Uh-oh, not a good idea. Alright, and one more bomb. Man, this guy dies hard. There we go. Uh, Venom Fang, not Venom Serpent, my bad. So it's the second one of those. Now, you'll see the corpses are still here. That's because I'm pretty sure they get back up and try to attack you again uh, in a harder difficulty anyways. So we want to go all the way back to where we were. Don't think she ever has any handgun ammo. She does not. Yeah, you do. Okay, and we're done with this area once we turn this crank. Uh, there's going to be a small ambush of enemies towards the end of the, the path. Uh, shotgun's pretty good for this. Don't have any grenades. Yeah, shotgun. Um, and you should explode someone. And we stomped him. Let's just grab everything and choose what to give to Sheva. Uh, like that. Cool, that should be fine. Right, and coming on down, we have a couple of crates, boxes, barrels, whatever the hell you want to call them. Hand grenade, awesome. You can have that. Alright, this next particular area, we're protect protecting a friend. It has a chainsaw dude. And two fatties is the, the thing that can be messed up here. So when you see the fatties, you just gotta let them climb through the window because otherwise you can't get their loot. Um, he can be killed really easy too, so just be careful of that. Okay, so we got people over here. This is the window that the fatties are going to climb through. So 
So, like I said, you can't get any of their stuff if you don't let them climb through. Uh, however, on the other side of this, we'll visit this later on, so it's no biggie. Oh, so there's one fatty. The other fatty's crawling. Sweet. Alright, now this isn't so urgent. But you should try kill these fatties as quick as possible. Alright. Uh, now, you've got plenty of time to just sort your ammunition and stuff in the elevator. Which I should have really reloaded, but that's fine. Yes, shotgun. Machine gun. Uh, should be a proximity bomb in one of these. Please be, yes, okay, excellent. And that's what we'll be using to hold off the, uh, the chainsaw dude, who's arguably weaker than the others. Now, you might be able to do the knife thing. Get out the way, that'll do. Alright, and once you come down here, you're gonna hear the, the guy say in animation. Right, and as soon as he says that, you can climb up here. Take out as many of these guys as you can. There we go. So what you want to do is jump down here, equip your proximity bomb, place it, and then run to the top here. Now you want to guard that proximity bomb from any little enemy, like this guy. Ah, oh, far out. Never mind. Okay, so... Chainsaw guy just got harder. That is fine. We'll just have to beat him the old-fashioned way. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere till this guy dies. Jump down. See, we got a whole bunch of goodies there. I mean, it's not that valuable. I think he gives you a ring. Alright, there we go. And after all that, we picked up a hand grenade that we could have used. Never mind. Uh, I say this in almost every episode. I'm sorry if you can hear snoring in the background. It's my little dog. He's asleep on me the whole time. Uh, now this is that area that we started off in. Protecting that guy. Got a couple of barrels. Ah, 
I don't think we can get through that window. Um, so from here, you just want to make sure you're fully loaded. Uh, we may as well give that to her. Uh, in fact, we won't be using the rifle for the rest of the episode, so grenade or a shotgun blast will do wonders here. We only have a grenade. So the deal with this is that there's going to be a timer when we hit about there in the road. The cutscene will play out to around there sort of thing in this concrete building towards the end there. Uh, that's where our last emblem for the area is. We'll have two minutes to get from there to that boat there. All right, so turn around, come into the shack here. And we have the last emblem. I feel like there's something really good over here too. There's gold, 3,000, so that's pretty cool. All right, shotgun, get these guys out of the way. That didn't quite work. Alright, so just run past all of those dudes. We're going to come up against dogs and explosive tripwires and a fatty. Alright, so this is where you want to use a grenade. And hopefully it blew off the lock on the door. It did. Shotgun, brilliant. Okay, now a fatty's going to come out just instantly hit that trip wire so it kills the dogs. And then just sink as much ammo as you can into this dude. Right, and we have one more trip wire which is at the base of these stairs. There you go. Alright, and just run past everything now. Uh, go to the end of the deck. And that finished up the episode. So, And we even got an S rank, which is awesome. I didn't think we'd get that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page. I'll see you here next time.